Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Wednesday, Wonderful Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three powerful decks of cards today. We're going to bring in the Angel Wisdom Tarot, a gorgeous deck by the amazing Radley Valentine. I'm going to bring in the Cosmic Love Twin Flame Oracle to bring in a message from your person and a message for you to them. And I'm going to bring in the Twin Soul Healing Oracle to see what's been learnt right now and what guidance you're receiving. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. And if you are a member of the channel, all throughout November, I've got special discounts on personal readings. So if you're thinking of becoming a member of the channel, this is the perfect time to do that. And also, if you become a member of the Angel family... You get access to all kinds of extra videos, including my Halloween special that I shared yesterday. Really cool, you know, me and George out and about at Alton Towers. So if you want to watch that, you can access that through any level of membership. But for the extra videos you get every week, three times a week, you need to be a part of the Angel family. But if you want to connect with that, just hit the join button below. But today we're going to connect with the energy and see what's going on. And already in the Daily Angel reading today, we're being guided about gratitude. Gratitude is going to be manifesting things and bringing things in. And the power of it. The power of gratitude will multiply things in your life. It will create the way and bring magic in. So what's the Divine Feminine learning right now? Look at this jumping out the deck. Okay, quite a few cards. I'm going to take them because there's many, many lessons we learn along the way. And some of you may be learning different things right now. What's the energy around the masculines? We've got one card and a card sticking out. And the energy around the journey. A few jumping out for the journey. So I feel that Feminines, you know, you're coming into awareness so much more now about what you are learning. And that's why all these cards have come out. So let's get a message from your person to you. Jumped on the camera there. A message from you to your person. And a message from the universe about the connection. There we go. And we're going to bring in some tarot. So what's the energy around the divine feminines today, please, angels? The energy around the feminine. And the energy around the divine masculines today. There it is. And the energy around the journey itself. What do we need to know about the journey? Well, it flew out of the deck there. Amazing. So let's see what's going on. So we're going to start with the energy around the feminine today. We've got rainbow. So the first thing you're realizing right now, and this is what you're learning through the things you experience and go through, is that your journey is always protected. You're always being protected and that you're always being guided back together and you will reconnect and come into union at the exact right time. So if you've been seeing rainbows, whether they are in the real world or maybe you've seen them in a dream or you've experienced them through a show or a film you've watched or you've seen them on a social media or on a picture or anywhere you've seen a rainbow that's the angels especially archangel raziel coming through to you the psychic angel reminding you that whenever you go through in your life your journey is always protected you're always being protected whatever mountains you face with faith you can move those mountains out of the way and this is definitely a big message about how you can connect with your twin in other ways than just physical ways because in this card, you can see that they are connected, but they're not touching each other. So you can connect with your twin without being physically in their presence. That's about the telepathic link, the bond, the way you connect in the 5D, the way you feel each other's energy, the power of the love. And what you're actually being shown today and what you are realizing is that the relationships and the dynamics are changing within those relationships. In other words, things are happening behind the scenes. Their relationships are changing. The relationship they may have with a karmic partner is changing. The relationship they have with their children is changing. Maybe their children are getting older now. The relationship they may be having with their boss or with their own self is changing. And also the relationships that you are having in your own life are changing too. Because it's time to figure out exactly what you truly want. So maybe you're thinking, right, I know that I need to change my job. It's not serving me anymore. The relationship isn't working for me anymore. The relationship with my job. Because we have a relationship with our job just as much as we have a relationship with other people. And the dynamics are changing. Some of you may even be changing the people that you spend time with. 
So you may have spent time with friends and other people and they're not serving you anymore. You're getting negative vibrations or you're just not gelling anymore. So it's time to figure out exactly what you truly want to be able to move forward. And I definitely feel that this could be for you as well, Divine Feminine, if you are in your own karmic situation right now. Because it's not just the masculines who are in karmic relationships, the feminines can be too. And they give me fear. And there may be some fear coming in around the things that are changing. Because our ego hates change. Our higher self craves it because that's how we grow. But our ego goes into fear and brings in the, the comfort of everything, the comfort zones. It's too risky, don't do that. What if this, what if that? And we have to rise above that. So it's time to figure out exactly what you truly want. And you might think that this is what your masculine needs to do. You might think, well, they need to figure out exactly what they truly want, but they already know what they want. They already know that they want you. It's about them getting the strength to make the changes. The angels are asking you today, did you smile today, Divine Feminine? Did you smile or have you been frowning today? Have you been taking life a bit too seriously? So turn that frown upside down. And if you're feeling frustrated, breathe and relax. If you're frustrated with the timing of things, if you're worried about the timing, if you're stressing out about the wet, give it to heaven because everything is happening in divine and perfect timing. Everything is protected. So breathe, breathe in and release. And you start to relax. When you breathe, you relax because you're breathing in the goodness and you're releasing out the tension and the stress. And just three deep breaths in and out is enough to recenter yourself and bring that focus back into the power of the now. So you're learning there's no need to be frustrated. When you breathe and relax, you realize everything is working out perfectly in the here and now. And you can affirm that I am safe. I am supported. I am exactly where I am meant to be. And you know that there's a leap coming. You can feel this. You know that your masculines are preparing to reach out to you. And you know that they are being called to do what they are guided to do. And whatever you're being guided to do, whether that's leaving a karmic relationship yourself or whether that's moving on from a job or something you want to change, do what you are being guided to do because the angels will always catch you. You're not alone. You'll always end up exactly where you're truly meant to be. The angels will guide you. And you're being guided right now. You just may not be hearing it because you need to quiet your mind. You know, when we're busy, when we've got a lot going on, when we're overthinking, we miss out on the guidance because we're not seeing things clearly or the ego is too busy in our mind and we've got too much noise in our head. So when we quiet our mind, clarity comes in. So if your masculine is silent right now, instead of panicking about it or trying to change it or trying to make conversation again, go and, go and silence yourself, go into nature, go and sit by the ocean or a river or a stream and connect with the beauty of nature and you'll gain clarity because clarity comes through silence. You realize through clarity and silence that you're always being guided. So you may actually need to gain some clarity of your own to work out what you want. And it's so important that you breathe today. The angels are reminding you of this. Just breathe. It's as easy as breathing when you allow it to be. There's no need to force or rush anything. When we are forcing things or rushing things or demanding things or wanting things to be different than they are, we are out of sync with the universe. We are pushing against the flow instead of going with the flow. So when we actually put down the oars of the canoe, instead of trying to row the wrong way up a current or a stream, the current in the stream allows us to take us where it wants to go. The natural flow, we put down the oars and the stream takes you forward and propels you where you're meant to be. So take some time today to calm your mind, especially if you're triggered by something or you're taking something personally. Because what you're actually learning right now is to never take things personally. Because you are bigger than any trigger and you are tougher than any challenge. God would not give you anything on this journey that you cannot handle. So release any anger or any fear or any struggle or doubt or anything that's coming up that's testing you or getting to you, any frustration. Release this by allowing yourself to feel it 
and then remember to rise above it. So you have to remember to do that, especially when you're feeling triggered or you're taking things personally or you're reacting in fear. You have to remember to rise above it and see things from a higher perspective. And then you're able to process it, gain clarity and respond with love because what your masculine is saying to you is, you are my dream lover. You are my dream lover. That means you're everything they've ever dreamt of, everything they've ever wanted. And they are dreaming about you right now. In fact, they are dreaming about making love to you, being with you in that way, passion and, you know, a lot of passion around them today, a lot of fire, desire. And he's saying to you, I am becoming who I am born to be, the emperor. And the message is move away from logic because this journey can't be explained with the mind and the head and logic. It has to be felt with the heart. It's a journey of the heart. It's a journey of love. And that's why so many people outside the journey don't understand the journey because they try and understand it with logic, not the heart, with logic, not love. So when we use our minds, we're able to clear our mind by taking control. And this is really a big masculine trait here. So the card says logic and organization will increase your success. So logic is about understanding things. In other words, yes, it's about following your heart and listening to your heart, but it's also about gaining knowledge. When we gain knowledge, we're able to organize our thoughts better. And that increases our success. So I feel the masculine right now is gaining knowledge. And I spoke about this the other day. I think it was on Sunday when we connected with all the ascension symptoms. Because when you are gathering information, you then have to digest the information. And if you're not liking what you are grasping or you, you're not grasping it properly, it may affect you as you digest it. So the masculine is really saying, I want to take charge of this situation. So feminines, the big message for you is allow your masculine to take charge, to reach out to you, to show you who they are. You've already accepted a leadership role in your life. It's time for them to follow through on theirs. And this journey needs structure and discipline sometimes so we don't react, so we don't keep trying too hard or we just breathe through it. And this is saying to you, you know, you are a creative being. So you can use logic and organization within your career and that will increase your success. You can take charge of your life in other ways. You can accept a leadership role by being of service and helping others. And that will also create structure and discipline in your life. If you get nervous, focus on service. If you're constantly looking on at your phone, put it down and do something of service because that will help to discipline you. So you're no longer looking at your phone or wondering what they are doing. So the energy around the divine masculine today, uh, we've got an unwise choice. So the masculines are aware that they've made unwise choices, whether this has been in a relationship that doesn't serve them for too long or doing something that causes them problems like gambling or drinking alcohol or doing drugs or spending time with the wrong people. They know that they've made unwise choices and they know now there's a better way that will make them happier. And this is what they're being guided to do. And they're very aware of this. They are now beginning to avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. So they are very aware of what they need to change in their life. So if your thinking is around the wrong people, maybe you've got your head in your hand saying, why can't he see what's happening? Why can't he see what's going on around him? He absolutely is. So what's he learning right now? He's learning to blast the past. He's learning that the past is gone and it can now only be accepted. This is the path to peace. And he's learning by releasing the past and blessing the past. He's able to follow his passion. Let them drive you on even when they drive you crazy. So his passion can drive him crazy. And his passion is for you. And it's for change. And even when it drives him crazy and he's going a bit mad in his mind, he's able to understand where he's going. So this is the masculine saying, I know that the past is gone. This is the person I used to be. This isn't who I am anymore. And I'm now accepting that the path to peace is different than I've, I've had before. He now is, wants to follow his passions and his dreams. And it says, let's show the world our love. So the masculine is very aware he wants to bring the love into the open. That's what he's saying to you. Let's show the world our love. Let's come out into the open. Let's be together. Who cares what people think? Now, the journey can be a, a real struggle, you know, because there's other things that get in the way. 
So the big thing you've been shown here is to think about where you are at this exact moment. And this is why breath work really helps and why it's so important because are you in operating in the past energy, the present energy or the future? So if you're thinking about the past and going over it, bless it. It's so important. This is for the feminine as well as the masculine. It's so important you bless the past, whatever's happened, because it's gone now and it can only be accepted. And the masculines are also spending time forgiving themselves for the past and the way they've behaved and the things they've done. And it doesn't serve you to stay in that energy. We've got to be in the now. So in the past, we go over the things that we wish we'd done differently or if only that had happened but when we come back to the now, we take control, we feel safe. Or we stress over the future, we get anxious about it, worrying about it, wondering when they're going to reach out or when things are going to change or be different. But the power is always in the now. So think about that question today. Where are you at this exact moment? And you might think, well, I'm listening to this reading list. But think about where you are after you've watched this reading. Does your mind start going into the past and going over things or is it struggling with the future? When you catch yourself in those energies, do some breath work and come back into the now. Maybe you're thinking about religion. Maybe you've got different religions or different religious beliefs. And this can also be connected with spiritual path. It's so important that you honor your beliefs on this journey by being true to you. And that's because you are a light worker and you have a mission and you are here to help the world, to heal the world. So the rainbow light there again is a big sign of protection and that you're learning on your journey. Now, I'm definitely feeling Archangel Raziel with the twins today, the psychic angel, helping you to understand why you've come and what you're here to do and to tap in with your intuition and your higher self and to follow your heart with the things you're passionate about. You may get passionate when you see a deck of cards. And you want to learn about how to read them or maybe you already are a reader. Or maybe you get passionate when you connect with crystals and you think, oh, I love those crystals. I want to get to know them better. I want to learn more about them. Or maybe there's a specific stone that you like and you want to use it more and learn more about it. Or maybe there's something you love to do and you're thinking, I'd love to incorporate this skill or this thing I love into my career. So this is all about your mission. What you're passionate about is always part of your purpose. So if your passion is about writing, you may be a writer. You may have a book in you or there's something the angels are guiding you to do. If your passion is about speaking, your voice will have power and it will help to heal the world. It will help to bring peace and guidance in for others. So there's many, many ways you can share your mission and share your light with the world because you're here to work the light, to embrace the light and show the light what light is, you know, to show the light, to be the light. Now, the big message coming through here as well is this love is worth the wait. The love is worth the wait. This is the message from the angels today. And it's like your masculine is saying to you, our love is worth the wait. And you know that our love is worth the wait. You know it is body, heart and soul. So it's worth waiting for. It's worth it. Body, heart and soul. So that doesn't just mean waiting to be together. It means being loyal to each other through the body, heart and soul. That means you may decide to not be with anybody else until union. And that's maybe making a sacrifice because you're thinking, well, I have desires. But you know that if you were with anybody else, it wouldn't serve you. And that's why the masculines go through this too. They move away from karmic partners. They sleep on the sofa. They feel like they're betraying your love because they love you. So body, heart and soul, it will be worth the wait. And as a twin flame in union, I'll tell you this again and again, it's worth the wait. Because the world is going to be yours. So this is a great time as we move forward to receive success. You know, the world, the world is that completion energy, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. So that's definitely what's happening right now. The freedom to do whatever you want. So be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself, divine family. Be proud of your twin. Be proud of this journey and enjoy the freedom you have. So if you are single right now, even though we're never single as a twin flame, but if you're not actually in a relationship with your twin, if you're not in a relationship with anyone else, you have the freedom to do you, to do you your way. Even if you've got a job, responsibilities, children, you've still got the freedom to do it your way. 
So enjoy that, embrace that and connect with the heavens about it. There's nothing more empowering than feeling free and knowing that you are safe. And if I could give you a word to describe union other than wonderful and magical and beautiful, it would be freedom because you feel free of the past. You feel free of all the things that you've struggled with, jealousy, anger, frustration, all the cycles we release to be in union. It's very free. So enjoy the freedom before union to enjoy freedom in union. And I definitely feel this is also the energy that makes you feel good. Gratitude, connecting with heaven, getting it on with the universe. You know, you and the universe have got a thing going on. So if you start connecting with the universe, the angels, the higher power, God, Jesus, whoever you connect with, you're going to receive many, many blessings. And you're going to feel so connected with everything. You're going to feel stronger, more powerful, more in tune with you. So today, whatever's going on, don't get triggered. Don't take it personally. Work on your connection with self and source and the universe will create the way. I hope this helps. I also feel as well, I've got to put this in there because, you know, you've got that dream lover card coming through. I definitely feel you're dreaming about each other right now. So also, you know, pay attention to the way you feel when you wake up, even if you can't remember your dream. Pay attention to the way you feel or any information that comes to you in a dream because you are connecting in that way as dream lovers. And they give me that song by Mariah Carey, Dream Lover, because you really are one. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.